Hello and welcome to the September broadcast of the Calvary Community Outreach. Our guest this month is Dr. Margaret Myers, MD, who will address concerns about the Zika virus. Dr. Myers. Thank you for letting me take a few minutes to talk about Zika. So Zika is a virus that's transmitted from person to person primarily in one of three ways, either through a mosquito bite, through sexual contact, or from a mom to her unborn child. For most people, Zika doesn't cause any problems. They never even know they have it. For some people, they get a short illness with fever, rash, red eyes, joint pain. And there are rare people who get an illness called Guillain-Barre, where they get numbness and weakness that starts in their feet and legs and moves up their body. But most of the time, with supportive treatment, that goes away as well. The big danger with Zika is to unborn babies. These children are much more likely to be born with serious nervous system birth defects, including something called microencephaly, where their brains and heads are very small and they have significant developmental disabilities. They're also more likely to be stillborn or to be miscarried. So what's the risk of Zika in Michigan? In terms of the mosquitoes, it's pretty much non-existent because the mosquitoes, the two species of Aedes mosquitoes that transmit Zika don't live in Michigan. The big risk is either in traveling to areas that have active Zika or having any sexual contact with someone who has traveled to an area with active Zika. So how can you protect yourself? Number one is avoid travel to areas that have active Zika. You can find which areas have active Zika by going to the Centers for Disease Control website, cdc.gov slash Zika. If you do have to travel to one of these areas, make sure to protect yourself against mosquito bites by using an EPA-registered mosquito repellent, by wearing shirts with long sleeves and long pants because these mosquitoes are active in the daytime as well as in the evening, sleeping in areas that are either screened in or using mosquito netting. The second thing is to avoid having any sexual contact with someone who's been to a Zika active area. You need to remember that condoms are never 100% effective at preventing any infection that's sexually transmitted. The most important thing is if you're pregnant and you have any concern that you may have been exposed to Zika, make sure you talk with your doctor. For other information on the Zika virus, how to protect yourself, and again, the areas where Zika is currently active, you want to go to the CDC website, cdc.gov slash Zika, Z-I-K-A. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about Zika today.